Hello. Go light. Do some racing. Hey, Sticky. So you will be able to race next week, will you? Uh, just keep in mind the time, because the hour change has now happened in most of Europe. Hey, Handy. How are you? That's awesome, though. Yeah, because our clocks went back an hour, so it's going to be, like, extra late for you now. It'll be on at, like, the practice starts at... What, at half eight UTC? The race doesn't start till quarter past nine UTC. I think it used to be quarter past eight UTC, so. Hey, Michael. Yeah, good luck to you. Oh, did you? Oh, crap. How long have you had that? Damn. That sucks. Finally. I've still managed to avoid it somehow. Half a flat mate. Yeah, hopefully it should be fine. I mean, you've had all the vaccines, I assume.
Ah, fuckers. Ricochet. You're flying. Ah. Yeah, it is a good combo. What do you mean by kind of tight? So I'm not sure if I agree or disagree at the moment. And then what you mean by that? Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. Unless you touch carbs. Like, I do get a bit of power oversteer with it, but yeah, it's... I don't get much turn in with it. He's just too quick. I don't know if they're softer or not. I didn't really. I did my first few laps on mediums and then switched to soft. This isn't one of those, so. Alright. I'm Matty. I play.
good luck tonight. Hope you enjoy the race. Was that what the guy's based on? Oh, is that what PV stands for? It's Panos LMP900, okay. Like, I knew it was up. It's been driving nice. But I might have messed up the setup now. Right there. Cold tires. Can hear it. I could actually hear it there scraping on the corner. This is 28 laps and softs. Different and different, 29 laps. Yeah, I think, I think softs should be fine. They're not overheating as well. It would be on factory assists, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Matty. So like this car doesn't have PC and ABS by default, so I don't. 
they won't be on, no. We do start with uh, tire blankets though, so like they should be warm. The tires should be, well, uh, maybe not warm, but now it's cold. And the first lap, although I would still take it careful just in case they are still under pressure, even with the tire blankets at the start. on the game sound I realise I forgot to adjust it for this car it's quite loud looks like <sighs> yeah, just take it handy at the start to find your pace, basically, is, will be my advice if you're not sure. I need to remind myself of that as well. I to join in the voice chat. Especially in the, with our previous championship, with the previous car. I was a bit too over eager. Hello there. It's an interesting car, this one. It's an interesting car, this one. It's a bit resistant to turn in, is what I'm noticing. Yeah, you do get a a little bit of understeer, you messed about with the rear dips. The rear what? The rear differential. Uh, if you the coast lower, it should turn a little bit better. Yeah. How much lower do you go? I haven't gone that much, but I haven't done that much testing yet. I'm on 40. I can't remember what it was to start with. It was like 38, I think. Or maybe it was 40. I'm gonna try 25 there. Yeah, that's the only obvious thing that I can work out. And soft tires should be the ones. Should last the race, should they? 
I don't know, on quick or on mediums. Oh. So, I really don't know. Four laps. I'll box in, head out. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say this car is pretty cool in VR. Yeah, I'll have to find out from Jim afterwards because I know he runs VR. Yeah, he's got full motion as well. The thing I found really odd with it was that you're kind of off. It's an open top car, so you use, your brain's thinking it's a formula car, but it's not. Because you're over to one mm. side. Yeah. That took a bit of getting used to. Yeah, that's the thing with prototype cars, especially like LMP2 type ones. I know this isn't LMP2, but it kind of has a sh body shape kind of like it, so I imagine the aero ability is somewhere around the same. Similar. Yeah. And while they have more downforce than like a lot of tin top cars, it's like they still don't have that much downforce when you compare them to an F1 car. I put rear wing to one. I just clicked yeah. it down one. I didn't even try, but I just did it straight away and said, that should be fine. <laughs> I like that approach. I'm really going to regret sticking to mediums now, aren't I? It's either going to pay off really well. Well, Ricochet was quick in mediums, he said, as well. It's either going to be really, really good oh, or really, really bad. Q, Q, Q1, Q1s are quicker for in qualifying. Okay. But they don't last as long, I think, according to my app thing. about the differential coast as well. Yeah, I, I up mine a bit again. I think 25 was a bit too low. <laughs> but then I lowered my preload and set. I'll go halfway now, so go there. Yeah, I, I went up to like 30 or maybe a bit more than 30. if the quali tyres come in quicker because so I know the race tyres take a lap or two to get going
Yeah, mine are nearly up to pressure already and only half push through a lap. At least they're quicker to the tires, even the race tires are quicker than last week's or the previous car. Hey Pat, I knew I knew you'd make an appearance just to say, and say the long boy. <laughs> I actually have predicted you would. I knew you'd see the thumbnail and be like, ooh, long boy. Does it? Nice. American land boy. We're mainly doing American tracks this championship. Oh. I'm not going to get a lap here, unfortunately. Sorry if I was in your way too much there, Ricochet. I think I got the balance right there. Uh, I don't know. We just picked a bunch of tracks. And there happened to be a good few of them are American. And then I said Bi Biker Nike or whatever it's called. Which is Lithuania. <laughs> but, you know. Because I'd seen that track. And I haven't driven it, and I was like, I'd like to drive that track. What we'll be doing, what will we do? In the description of what tracks we're doing. Doing Road Atlanta, Road America. This should be good at Road America. Uh, most for. Daytona. Road course. Slides, please. Ah, a bit wide. 
I'm sticking my turret in that corner, I just don't trust myself in second. There's no front wing, is there? You can change the front wing type and it moves the balance forward on the next list. I don't know what it does to actual numbers. Oh, I didn't see that at all. Yeah, it moves the yeah. aero balance about 5% forward when I looked at it, but I didn't compare the actual downforce or drag numbers. Uh, it's too late to change it now anyway, by this stage. Oh, front type. Oh, okay. I found it a little bit too twitchy with that set to one and the rear set to one. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't have time to test it now. I have to jump and go for a toilet break. Too much coke beforehand. Hey Adam. Or should I say General Kenobi? I'm pretty happy with my qualifying. Unless people overtake me on this last lap. Roll my match to get in the 32s, like, Jesus. Yeah, when I was looking at the, um, the little bit of practice in this afternoon, I saw 35s for the mid pack. <laughs> Raymond was straight onto the 34s on the practice. Oh, like, my fr yeah, my first lap was like, I think I did a 35 or 36, so I just threw in one. I calculated my fuel based off 131 because I was just like, yeah, that's probably what Roman will be doing. Yeah, I, I think I did 30, 34. Uh, no, I won't be racing after this uh, race, Adam. No. Yeah, I'm putting in 37 litres to be. Yeah, if he gets a slipstream. Actually, I might put in a little more. 39. Oh. Oh, I'm happy with that mid pack. That would be nice. Interesting, a few guys are mediums. Going medium was just because that's what I've practiced and I felt more comfortable on. Yeah, I only practice with the soft, so I'm kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, 
Oh, good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck. There's that Jan in the background. I think so, yeah. One, yeah. Good luck, guys. I actually didn't practice starts with this car, I realized, just when I was lining up there. And I was just hoping it would be a normal car to start. Okay, sure, I got the move done. I'm gonna lose another spot. Oh fuck me! What the fuck happened? Killed myself into the hairpin. I killed myself. Fuck me! Why am I so bad? I just—I don't know what happened to me there on the braking. Probably didn't respect the car enough for the first lap. Oh no, it's twitchy as hell. Yeah, the tyre's taking a bit of a while to get going. God, will it turn on? I say when I start holding you up. No, I could barely hear that SRS app. It was just me being bad, really. Ooh. It was just me being bad, Adam. I let myself get too flustered after messing up at the the bus stop and losing a second place. But I, I never messed up. Yeah, I just I think I just hit my brake too hard or something. I'm annoyed now. But yeah, no, that was a hundred percent my fault, just Just let myself get flustered by Ricochet and Lucas, really. Yeah, there's time, but I don't know. I'm for the last while on SRS now. I've been bad at on lap one, really. I've been really bad at lap one, and I used to pride myself in being quite decent at lap one. I think I just try too hard. I'm too impatient now on lap one. I used to be very patient. And I used to be fine with like losing two or three spots. And then making it up. And now I let myself like... I like just try too hard to keep my spot. So I need to relearn to kind of... Just relax. I actually think some of that comes down to streaming, basically. And I don't like to be overtaken a lot on the first lap on stream. So I find myself more flustered than I would be if I was on my own. I think the race start is the one, the one aspect I really notice. My racing really changing since I've streamed.
Oh no. What happened? <laughs> yeah, I fortunately spun out at the start myself, so I lost a bunch of places. back oh no come on I need to find a pro setup to be honest I wonder if that's a second year corner Which corner? The one after that big, uh, the fast, uh, fast corner. Ah, I forgot what it is, but. The left, the left hand turn? The right hand turn. The right after the fast sweeping left. That's all right, we'll figure it out later. Going uphill? Yeah, going uphill. I've yeah, been doing that right. one in third because I find I kind of tend to spin if I go down too low a gear in that corner. It's too torquey, kind of the car. Ah. It's like a corner I've realized it's just not worth risking. Lunch. Mm. Eat a good lunch. Sorry, I'm struggling to read the comment. I uh, had a good lunch. I, I made you bottled it. Oh wow. They were a controller. Okay. Oh yeah, lag spikes would be even tougher to deal with on a controller. Because it's harder to be smooth compared to a wheel and pedals, so then. Ooh, whoa. Nearly bend it on that. I'm overdriving a bit. I thought I was hitting that fence. I don't know why I cut that over the curb so much there. It's just unsettling the car. It's not quick. And yet I keep doing it each lap.
Slow down more for the bus stop. Oh my god. Missed my break point that time. Fucking hell, I'm so bad at it. I'm like overthinking it now. Let's catch him. Get some moves. Look at this. Three way battle there and then Handy just behind. And me as well. Let's make a five-way party. I don't think this last corner could do a what you could do a wall right around this last corner to make a few spots. Unlike in the NASCAR at the weekend. <laughs> Didn't want the rear to slip out there at all. And it's gonna be. Oh, that killed my momentum. Keep behind. so unlucky for Max. Oh, he's just in the wrong place, wrong time there. Oh, what happened in the Cooper Cup? Road rage. PCR cars love going. Oh, no. Ooh. PCR cars ah. love going five way. Yeah. 
I in no way did the same. Uh. <laughs> I may have pushed the pedal on the right a bit hard. Yeah, the car does have a little bit of power over steer if you're not too careful. Yeah, it kind of has a bit of power under steer and then it says, no, you've been an idiot, you're going round. Yeah, basically. That's so. Avoid the wall. Got run here now. So I don't worry, I probably won't catch you. Fuck me! I was in eighth place and I blew it. <laughs> Did you hit much? <sighs> Okay, there is something unstable when I hit the brake too hard. Do what? Did you hit much or was it just a harmless spin? No, I just spun. It was going up the hill on the left. You know the car yeah, it was light. just after the, it was on the third last corner. All right. Yeah. on the left on your inside. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were going to yeah. stay on the racing line. Uh. We didn't hit each other, that's the main thing. Well, that, what happened to me at hey, the bus stop right, is basically what happened to me on lap one. On I've chat about the telemetry. I locked no. off. No, not the telemetry. I locked up the rears first, oh. and it just kicks out then. We're too hard of braking. Yeah, I'm the one that posted up the 135 lap times. Ah, okay. Well, I'm doing consistent 137s, but with telemetry I can find the rest of the lap time, but... Hey Barry, nah, I messed up the start. Nobody has the wheel. Qualified for, messed up, halfway through the lap, hit my brake pedal too hard, the rear went out. So it's been a recovery the job, <laughs> unfortunately. Racing sim tools by, um, in AMS2. Hopefully I don't do this in the P1 cast. Sigma next week. I don't know if you know who he is, but... I haven't got clues. I don't do much AMS team. I know Donnie does, so Donnie might know. Oh yeah, I know it's dude. But... I like AMS too, but I like this game better... for some reason. And my main game that I play is iRacing, just because I'd rather race online whenever we're... <laughs> I think it's good to, uh, you know, dip in and out of all the games, really, because they all have their strengths and weaknesses. That's yeah. a very diplomatic answer. But true. So. But Why'd you guys change the races to Mondays and Thursdays? Just curious. Ours has always been Mondays. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, what I mean is like at a later time, I guess. 
Oh, it's probably because Europe's gone into winter. UK's in um, daylight saving there. Or whichever way it was, so our clock's changed by an hour. Ah. Yeah, the clock's changed uh, at the weekend, so everything's gone an uh, back an hour here. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, an hour later, I suppose, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, our cut. for me, because... <laughs> oh, go ahead. What were you going to say? Oh, no, no, it was just saying. Uh, it's on an hour later, basically, yeah. So instead of half... Or instead of 7 o'clock UTC, it's, back, it's now at 8 o'clock UTC. Cool. One. Uh, Roman. Uh, Roman. Because he's just, uh, he's an alien. He claims he's human, but he, he's not. Like, you know, he's just a sentient being beyond he's our, uh, thing. abilities. <laughs> he is. Did do quite a bit of practice as well. Oh, okay. Well, that was cool. So yeah. I enjoyed that. That's the main thing, is enjoying it. Next week we can try and get better results, maybe. Hey, me help. Where do you end up? 14th, 15th, second to last. <laughs> yeah, I think I was eight. I was two cars behind you, one when you had spun out, so. But luckily, me and that other car behind you were, we were, there was enough of a gap between us that we could react to your car. Oh man, that would have sucked. I forgot to map a teleport button, so I'll have to do that. <sighs> I need to right. see. No, I went to good. yeah, I went to teleport it from where you spun out, cause you would have had to have done another full lap again. Oh, I see. Oh man. Uh, are you guys doing Thursday's race or not? No, I can so, pretty much. I can only pretty much do Mondays. Is that Stig's Evora race? Is that the one? Yeah, he's not on Thursday, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he normally says. I just wanted to make sure it was that race and not one later. I might do. I don't know yet. See on the day. Oh, okay. So if, well, for sure, I'll be doing the Monday races. Oh, cool. No, this isn't. This doesn't yeah, need CSP. Telemetry going on the. Uh, I don't think anyway. Data. Check out our inputs. No, no, that you are fine, Ricochet man. No you are fine. Uh, I, I messed up, man, I, and I got flustered then. <laughs> you did nothing wrong. Okay, cool. I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, chat to you. All right, see ya. Bye, right, bye. You're the better. You're the slightly better start than me. No, you did not. Absolutely nothing wrong. My car, I realize only too late that if I hit my brake too hard, my uh, my rear was kicking out unstably, which I didn't do in practice because I didn't really hit my brake that hard. Well, you didn't do the last one, so... You weren't gonna do the last one whether it required CSP or not, so... Yeah, I, I kept messing up that um, bus stop on for so many laps, like... And then I just hit that brake too hard. The rear locked up or something, like, it just... You can see it just kicks out, like... As soon as I'm on the brake, just... Oh, I'm so bad.
Yeah, it was nice to do a fast car again. It might have been dirty air. It did catch me out. No, I was side on. Unless I, dirty air can catch side on. Yeah, and then I was just a mess there for like half a, another few corners. When did it happen to me? What lap? I nearly... Yeah, this one. No, not this one. It is this one. This one I locked up as... Or, like, my rear just... Yeah, maybe that was the dirty air that caused that. But, yeah. I'm just, like, on the brake too hard. Rear locks up. You can see, like, the rear just becomes really unstable. And... Luckily, luckily I didn't take up Mart there. Jesus. Oh, so you had a bit of a battle, did you? Nice. Well done on the podium, Matteo. So what happened to you at the start? Was it did you just change down the gear or something? No, I th I think uh, I think maybe my brake bias is too rearward or something. I'll have to look at it. Uh, if I hit my brake too hard, it just the rear kicked off. And I wasn't really doing it in the... I wasn't really stamping on it during the... Um, during practice. And then, in, you know, on lap one, because I had guys around me and got flustered, I hit the brake harder than I had been. Because I was, you know, I, I went in deeper, so I, you know, hit it harder. And just instantly, the, just, the rear end just became incredibly unstable and kicked out on me. It did look... Quite an odd accident to have. But I just wanted if you Hey Lucas. The to second, I tried to look at your steering a little bit. Nice, nice yeah. move at the start so there. It looks like the rear's just locked, which would be, like you say, stamping up the brake. Oh, it's it's definitely that. Like, no, it's consistent with that feeling of if your brake bias is too far rearward and you then hit the brake hard and the rear kicks out. Like it just felt, you know, I could feel it. It was instantly felt like that. I was so inconsistent driving today. Which is annoying now. I think it's tiredness or something. Because I was good at first in practice. Then I was getting worse. I think I'm just getting I'm too tired today. My brother was down for the weekend and he brought down his little dog and... That dog was screaming all night, so I barely got sleep. <laughs> no, no, that was 100% me uh, just been in it, Lucas. It was actually, if we have, if we have, if you have an incident point then from us, that was from me, unfortunately. Um, yeah. yeah. No, you, you, you gave me more than enough room. It was fine. How did, how did Lucas get you? How did he get you? Oh no, he's behind you right now. Lap one, two, or three. But that narrows it down. You mess up. Oh, oh, you really nearly bend it there. Oh, look at that. Oh, you took too much curb there, did you?
He was in like a, a shot there. Watkins Glen is such a good track for cars like this, though. I need to work on the bus stop again. I think what I don't get used I'm not used to, like, AC curbs anymore. Not as much as, like... Like, an AMS2, I don't think the car will get nearly as unsettled over the curbs. So it was kind of putting me off, but... No, I'd probably mess up the AMS2 bus stop as well, if this was on AMS2, so I'm probably just talking shite, and I was just making up excuses for why I was bad today. Oh, what happened to Lucas here? But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next races with this car now. Oh, I took too much, took to hit the bigger part of the curb there. Easily in there. What ring, rear wing did you end up using, Ricochet? Such a cool looking car. Oh, you are zero. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I just, I clicked it down to one, but I didn't, I didn't. I should have gone to zero. Actually felt like I could have had more, could have done with more turning on sweeping corners, so. Yeah, I was stable, like. On sweeping corners, it was stable. I definitely could have done with one. I should have gone to zero. Default rear wing is two. Zero at the front. Uh, although it's it's a different uh, wing type for the front that they change. But not really. A, there's no real wing there. I'm guessing they changed the splitter or something. Uh... But the default for the rear was two. It's ricochet, you just keep your positions from then on. Oh, well. Okay. I think I gotta end soon enough. I wanna. I've been replaying through the Halo, so. I wanna finish off Halo 3 tonight, I think. Halo 3 still looks good. Apart from the character model faces, especially the, the eyes are kind of a bit terrifying. I think Keys' face is just so weird looking. It's like... They don't need to remaster Halo 5 except for the character models, their faces basically. Uh, but the actual environment in that... Uh, it still looks good. The art direction's very good. It still looks really good. And then, like, I played through 1 and 2, and I used the original graphics for 1 and 2. Uh, so not the anniversary edition. So, like, when I played Halo, the Halos for the first time last year, like, I was... I, I literally was really impressed by the, the step up in graphics from 2 and 3. And I was wondering, like, this time when I played it, I was, like, expecting it. And even then, I was still like, man, Halo 3 is like such a big step up in graphics compared to 2. It was like, it must have been like kind of mind blowing at the time. If you were a massive Halo 2 fan and then go to Halo 3 and just the step up in environmental, in the environmental design, it's just absolutely massive. I forgot the like the difference between those two generations of consoles was quite big in the end.
Oh, does it? Okay. Oh yeah, it was your birthday recently. Happy birthday again. <laughs> I I actually never played Simpsons Hit and Run. Uh, but I have like seen speed runs of it and that, and I I do like think it's a it's a really cool game. Uh, I knew people when I was a kid. I knew other people had it and really liked it. My friend had the crazy taxi one then, the Simpsons taxi game, and I played that a bunch. That hasn't been a Simpsons video game in a long time, I think. I had the, the, the Simpsons game that was out on the PS3. My younger brother got it, so... I had played through it. It was fun. It was that game was actually kind of fun. Probably aged badly in a sense. Although it's funny, I've seen retrospectives on it. They talk. This there's a plot in it that they find older Simpsons car older versions of the Simpsons from older video games, and how those video games have now become have become defunct, you know, and destroyed and. It's funny how then that Simpsons game has kind of suffered it now, especially when you play through it. Yeah. The one-liners in, in the video games are gas. Oh, yeah, no worries. Well, I'm about to disappear anyway, I don't so. <laughs> Alright. Yes, I'm gonna call it at that. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully next time I won't mess up. Although, I seem to say that a lot these days. For SRS races, I just I keep messing up them up. Just get over eager. I get over flustered. I just need to calm it down. Relax. Accept that it might go well at the start. Why is that? Most sport next year. I have not driven most sport in a long, long time, and I wasn't the greatest at it at the time I raced it before. So that'll be interesting. Yeah, thanks for racing, Handy. Yeah, hopefully. It'll be interesting, that one. Daytona the week afterwards. Ooh. See you guys. Uh